Have Houston do it for you. Well, if you saw this, we recently sent Houston to the home of Tammy Fromness in Gillette, Wisconsin, to help decorate her house for Christmas. That's what it looked like before, and this is what he did to it right there. And now we're being sued because of their electrical bill. Uh, and he blew a lot of fuses. Um, so now another viewer needs Housen's help, and uh, Linda Walsh of East Stroudsburg, Pennsylvania, is uh, asking for this. Let's see what, uh, oh, let's see what she says. My husband's a mechanic, and he works long hours. When he's not working, he's helping his friends and his family fix their cars. So I don't have a Mr. Fix-It at home anymore, and I could really use one. Because things are breaking down, and they're taking months to get fixed. In particular, this kitchen drawer over here. As you can see, the whole drawer is missing. So I could really, really use your help. All right, Houston, come on. Now, how, how does that look? That, have you ever, uh, how are you with drawers? I mean, you know what I mean. Um, <laughs> I think I'm okay. Yeah? It's, uh, it doesn't seem too hard. She needs a drawer fixed. And I can do that. I think so. And it's uh, Pennsylvania. It's going to be cold again. I've never been there. No, but it's going to be cold, I'll tell you that. So you put a little I, jacket on and you yes. prepare yourself and fix your drawers. And uh, <laughs> there's, there's no way to make that sound good. And um, <laughs> so you'll, and, and then maybe she'll need help with something else. You, you never know. I'll do whatever she needs. Yeah. And uh, she had a nice little uh, uh, toaster cozy there that I liked. <laughs> Who has a toaster cozy anymore? That's, um, all right, so, so put a jacket on and a hat, and uh, off you go to Pennsylvania to help right Linda now? Walsh. Go! Again? Yeah, go! All right. Please stand up, and uh, what is your name? Uh, Ellen Call. Hi, Ellen. I'm Ellen. Hi. Well, and, and Ellen, uh, I have questions for you, but you, you start. Okay. Well, I'd like to know if somebody wanted to be a comedian today, where is a good place to start? Uh, well, I mean, I, I guess a comedy club would be a, a good place. Um, say over, uh, like a, um, well, any place is good. You can start anywhere. Um, but I would start with just knowing that uh, no matter where you are, you don't really let the audience dictate what's funny. If you really think it's funny, it could just be a bad night or a bad crowd, and you just stick to what you feel is right and what you feel is funny, and just keep doing it eventually. But if it, if it lasts like a year and people don't respond, <laughs> then give it up. <laughs> I hope I've helped. All right, um, what, is, what is with it? Because there's a whole row of you with red hats on, unless it's a coincidence, and I don't know. <laughs> What's the red hat? We're a chapter of the uh, Red Hat Society. We're the Red Hat Mamas. Ah, the Red Hat Mamas. Great. Thank you for being here. That's a good, um, that's a good shtick, you know? You, you, you have the red hat, and people talk about, oh, have you seen the woman with the red hat? And you tour. Um, uh, where, over here? Hi, yes, hi. Hi, uh, what's your guilty pleasure song? My what? Guilty pleasure song, you know, like a, a song you don't like to admit to that you love? Guilty pleasure song. Yeah. Um, well, you know, I, uh, I'm sure I like Air Supply. <laughs> And of course, muskrat love. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, thanks for the questions. Uh, don't go away. We'll be right back.